uh, looks like you were a bit of a busy man this morning. I saw some new stuff coming out from you and stuff coming out of from the uh, technical takeoff. It's been a little bit, yeah. 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 So uh, yeah. any uh, any favorites from, from your side there? Uh, what's going on this week? Yeah, so um, I happen to catch a couple of the sessions so far. I've got a few... Um, uh, from the technical takeoff, I've got a few more that I definitely want to catch up on here um, um, tomorrow. Um, but the lap session uh, I watched earlier today um, really stuck out to me. So they were talking. Um, Microsoft was talking a little bit about if if you'd like to share my screen, I do have uh, just some some screen caps up from the. From the video, I would definitely recommend watching this. By the way, if if uh, your organization is invested in LAPS, um, especially if you've been looking um, for some improvements from Microsoft, including uh, improvements based on uh, storing password in Azure and things like that, it sounds like they are coming. Um, anyways, this video sort of touched on uh, some of those things, and I just paused here at. Uh, one of the slides that was referencing the new features that are coming for Azure AD, where we'll be able to store passwords in Azure on the device object, um, cloud-based management by retrieving passwords through MS Graph and the Azure portal, as well as being able to configure the settings or doing on-demand uh, password rotation from uh, what was the endpoint manager portal. Uh, <clears throat> Um, so that, those were some of the Azure AD improvements. And then they also had some uh, on-prem improvements where we've got some new group policy objects coming, uh, new schema uh, attributes, which um, they do explain. I believe it was, yeah, Jay Simmons uh, was the speaker on the session. So he explains why those new attributes are, are necessary. Um, some new password encryption improvements, password history uh, managing DSRM account passwords stuck out to me. Uh, so a lot of cool stuff that I think is is on the way for LAPS. Um, I know we've heard a lot of people, you and I get asked a question about LAPS um, pretty commonly, Johan, and um, often we point to, uh, you know, some of the community solutions from like our friends over at MS Endpoint Manager um, have a good uh, cloud LAPS solution. But I think really a lot of people have been wanting something more of a native feel like the the standard laps that we've been used to for the last several years. Um, so this is all good stuff. Uh, for me, this one I, I would recommend as well as um, when is my device going to update? This was a cool, um, quick, maybe 10 or 15 minute uh, session that I watched with uh, several people, uh, including Aria Carly, who uh, owns uh, up the updates, um, several people from the user experience part of Windows Update were, were on this. Um, and they were kind of just talking about when your devices will scan, download, install updates, when they'll reboot, what logic they're putting in place not only to make sure your devices are staying updated, but um, do it in a way that doesn't disrupt the user experience or as much as as much as you can. Uh, and one uh, nugget of information uh, that I was telling you about yesterday that really stuck out to me, I didn't realize they were doing this. So um, from a sustainability perspective, <clears throat> It sounds like they're adding some new logic to um, not install and reboot or to install and reboot the devices for an update uh, on off hours, basically, uh, you know, when energy usage is low. So they're actually taking into account energy usage for a specific region and adding that into the logic of when your device will install and reboot uh, which I thought was really interesting. I don't know what that looks like in practice, but the fact that it was on their minds was was um, pretty interesting to me. Uh, so that was another one I found uh, pretty cool. I was in, I was happy I watched that one as well. 
anything specific that's sticking out to you so far and what you've watched? Yes, um, indeed. I'm just going to connect up my screen and... Here we go. Uh, so not so uh, very surprisingly, the, the autopilot session that I talked about that I wanted to see last week in, in the office hours turned out to be pretty good. It was not that I expected, but it actually went through end to end the, the autopilot process, like what happens in each of the different phases. So they, they spent some good time covering through that. And they also explained some workaround and gotchas that you might run into in each of these different steps. So as a sort of an introduction to what power, autopilot is, is actually doing, this was, this was pretty good. And it was only half an hour, so it's like, it doesn't take an entire evening to watch, obviously. Uh, then there was a uh, update for business session uh, presented where they announced that they're going to release the new driver management, uh, driver and firmware management for Intune or Microsoft Intune in Q2 2023. And they also announced that they're removing the preview marking on the uh, expedite updates and feature updates feature or policies it is in 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 tune so that was um, something that stood out there was also one session i i really enjoyed and I, i'm going to watch that one again because it was it was absolutely great uh it was the debate going uh cloud attached versus cloud only uh, where there were uh, four people from microsoft and one of the mvps from iceland uh, joining johannes and uh, basically it taking in questions. So this was one of the few like live sessions. The other one was more like pre-recorded demos, but this was live. And if you start to scroll down into the comments here, you find a good chunk of comments from that hour that this session run. So even though I don't agree with uh, all of the answers in that session, this was, this was good stuff. Highly, highly recommended. So we'll make sure to share these links as usual, but this is, uh, this was uh, stood out to me, and I still have a few sessions to go through uh, on this. So yeah, that was good stuff.